Welcome to Jersey Line. Pat O'Melia here, your pro football pronosticator. I, I was one game over 500 last week. Uh, some dumb luck uh, helped. I, uh, um, I did okay with the Rams in Detroit. I had the, the, the points and the under. And I did okay with Indianapolis. I won on that with the over-under and the points. Then I lost all the other games. But if you, you hit with the over and under and the points, you know, it's a good payoff on that. It's like, you know, five to one. You know, again, with FanDuel, you bet $5, you can buy, bet $10. You don't have to bet $100 or anything like that, or $20 a game. Bet with your head, put a little money on there so you, you know, get a little skin in the game and you're enjoying it. You got a gambling problem, we got the numbers on the bottom of the screen. So with for no further ado, without further ado, as they say, let's get to the business. Thursday night, probably game of the week. You got Green Bay at Arizona. Green Bay is 6-1. and one. Arizona is undefeated at 7-0. and oh. Arizona's a really tough team to figure out this year. Even though they're 7-0, oh, sometimes they play down to their competition. But the Green Bay is one of the best teams, but they got wide receiver problems. Devontae Adams is in COVID-19 protocol. He's not playing tonight. They have some injuries with Green Bay, but you still have Aaron Rodgers. On the other side of the, uh, the ball is uh, Murray. And this kid makes things happen. He's got a great receiving core. You got the big tight end they traded for from Philadelphia Eagles. I'm going to ride with Arizona, one of my favorite teams. I'm giving up six and a half. The over or under is 50 and a half. One o'clock. Miami at Buffalo. By the time this goes, this game goes off, Sean Watson might be a uh, Miami Dolphin. He won't be playing, of course. But the, uh, the Dolphins' ownership agreed to the, the draft choices. Just a matter of the league saying, listen, if you trade for him, you can play him because he has some civil lawsuits against him. They're at Miami. My, uh, Miami is at Buffalo. Buffalo has got all the wheels on the cart again. I'm going to go with Buffalo. I thought about this one. But I'm going to go with Buffalo with 13 and a half. Buffalo minus 13 and a half, over under 49 and a half. Probably the best bet of the week, and it's a, it's a minor game, is Carolina or Atlanta. Matty Ryan with his rookie tight end got things going. Uh, they benched Sam Donald last week in Carolina. They started 3-0, and now they're 3-4. and uh, Sam's going to start again, but it's a very short leash, and McAfee is still out. So I'm going to take Atlanta at home, minus 3, over under 46. 1 o'clock game, Philadelphia at Detroit. Detroit's going to win someday, so it may as well be Sunday against Philadelphia. They're at home, Detroit. And they're a home underdog, three and a half. They play good enough to lose, but they, you know, they're, they play within the spot. I'm going to go with Detroit, plus three and a half at home, over under 48. Fan duel bet here, one o'clock, Tennessee at Indianapolis. I like Tennessee. Uh, you know, they, 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 they've really been on a good roll now. Um, I'm going to take Tennessee, and Carson went with Indianapolis with the Colts. He's playing pretty good football. It's going to be a good game. It's a, it's a low spot. It's Tennessee, minus one and a half, overrun to 49. I'm going with Tennessee. One o'clock game, the Rams at Houston. Rams are going to win, but are they going to win by 14 and a half? Uh, and Tyrone Teller is back quarterbacking Houston. Now, they traded Mark Ingram. You know, they're, they're in a rebuilding mode here. I'm going to go with Houston. It's 14 and a half. I know the Rams are going to win, but I figure they're going to take their uh, foot off the uh, gas like they did last week against Detroit. I did okay there. Uh, one o'clock game, Cincinnati at the New York Jets. Zach Wilson is out, he's got a knee injury, he got a rookie, White, kid uh, named White is starting quarterback for the New York Jets. They traded for Joe Flacco, he'll be in uniform, but he won't be playing, he only arrived on Friday. I'm gonna take Cincinnati that demolished uh, the Baltimore Ravens, two of my favorite teams, Cincinnati and Baltimore Ravens. I'm going to take Cincinnati minus 10 and a half, overrun to 43 and a half. One o'clock game, Pittsburgh at Cleveland. This was a tough pick. Um, I'm going to go with Pittsburgh over Cleveland. Uh, yeah, it, their quarterback is out in Cleveland. The kid that's replacing, uh, replacing uh, Baker Mayfield, he is from Minnesota, where the head coach is. There's a good chance if Cleveland pulls this off, Baker Mayfield, and he may be on a hot seat there in Cleveland. But I'm going to take Pittsburgh here. 
minus three and a half, plus three and a half, excuse me, Pittsburgh plus three and a half. One o'clock game, San Francisco at Chicago. Uh, Chicago, listen, that their rookie quarterback, Justin Fields, he needs a lot more seasoning. I don't know if Dalton is going to be ready. I'm going to go with Frisco with Jimmy G. Uh, I'm going to take Frisco minus three and a half over under 39 and a half. Four o'clock game, Jacksonville at Seattle. Geno Smith continues to lose for Seattle. You know, you won't be seeing Geno Smith in Seattle next year, but right now it's the only thing they got going. Uh, but Jacksonville, you know, they're, they're almost an expansion team in my opinion. They got the number one draft choice. They won in London. They got one win. But I don't think they're going to get a win in Seattle. I'm going to take Seattle minus three over under 43 and a half. New England at Chicago. I, that should be New England at Chargers. They should say L.A. Chargers. I like the Chargers. Uh, they were exposed last week. Um, I'm going to take New England at L.A. New England getting four and a half. They just demolished the, uh, the Jets, New England. But the Jones kid, he's getting his feet on the ground over under 48 and going to New England. Four o'clock game, Washington at Denver. Denver's got some problems. Uh, they're, they're, they're the coach, they're the whole team has got some issues, right from the ownership. There's going to be a change in ownership there. There's certainly going to be a change in a quarterback. Last week, they should have went with Andrew Locke. They didn't. They went with Teddy Bridgewater with an injured foot. I'm going to take Washington and the Heineke kid. Uh, Washington plus three at Denver. I don't have an over-under on there for some reason. Uh, fan duel bet, four o'clock. The game everybody's going to be looking at, Tampa Bay at New Orleans. New Orleans let me down again. No matter which way I bet with New Orleans, I lose. I lost with New Orleans this week. I'm going to go with Tom Brady. The Grunk is still out, but Mike Evans is really stepping up at wide receiver. Uh, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay, minus five, over run to 50 and a half. Eight o'clock game, Dallas at Minnesota. I'm going with Dallas. Um, uh, Minnesota's snake, but uh, uh, no matter what happens with Minnesota, it never works out in their favor. I'm going to go Dallas minus one and a half over run to 55. And Monday, my New York football giants are going to get decimated by the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City. Kansas City's got to get their act together, and this is the game that'll probably do it. I'm taking KC minus 10 Monday night over run to 52 and a half. Enjoy the game. Bet with your head, not over it. And I'll see you next week. Good night.